Welcome everyone, I'm Jack al Mazidi, and it's time for the final announcement regarding the future of the Extreme Show. And ever since last Friday, since I announced that the Extreme Show is over and it is in the rebranding process, now I've done with the rebranding process. I know it's only been three days, I believe, and I know it is like quicker than everyone thought, but that's it I got the new idea I saw it I had the vision and I just wrote it down and I came up with news like seven new episodes seven new shows excuse me and you will just love it when you hear it I believe so let's just hope so um, the first off of course I told you the idea it will be like segments from the show the main show the extreme show and it will be put in out as like individual shows for like themselves or whatever you like to call it. But now, either way, um, we got a show named Reloaded. You know, the segment Reloaded. It has proven to be the thing that made season four what it is today and made it the best season out of all the fourth seasons. And it made the Extreme Show popular, gave me a few fans and a lot and a lot of haters. But it actually made the extreme show a lot of good so now it's having its own show named reloaded of course and probably gonna name it extremely reloading or just reloaded we'll get to that when it actually airs now for its information what it will be talking about it will probably talk about just the things you thought you saw on the extreme show when the reloaded segment started it, it will include entertainment updates politics music um Anything that is regarding to the entertainment business, to politics, and also tech news, and it will all be mixed up in one episode, so it can include more than just one thing to talk about, or only one thing, so it can happen both ways, and under no cir circumstances whatsoever, the show will be called Reloaded in the title on YouTube. No, the title will list what I will be talking about, and that idea I came up with, uh, I believe at New Year's Eve of 2011 or 2012. No, it was New Year's Eve of 2012, right? That's what you call it. But either way, so that's one show. Let's um, talk about the timing. Well, the timing, it has no timing. So what did I write here? Yeah, whenever there is something hot to talk about, there will be an episode. So do not expect this episode to be week in and week out, just like the Extreme Show used to air on Fridays and stuff like that. So the second show is named... In Teachers Now, so it's kind of like the, the Friday Night Movie Hunt, but now it's named In Teachers Now, and I believe it, all these titles might get changed, so this is only the idea of it. Um, in Teachers Now it will also list the new movies that are coming out, but gonna have more information than just the star's name and the, and the movie's name. We're gonna talk about the signposts, um, is that what it's called, like the story, the storyline, the plot, uh, the directors and my personal opinion on it and all the movies will be like gathered up in one episode each and every week so that has a timing and I believe for the US version yes I'm having two versions I'm finally making a show for Kuwait and we will be having in theaters now for the states and in, th in theaters now and um, for the for Kuwait um, for like scene skip theaters um, so the timing for the U.S. movies, I believe it's either on Thursdays or Fridays, so it's up to me. But you also have it, you will either have it on Thursdays or Fridays. But for the Kuwaiti version, I will definitely have it up for Wednesdays as the movies get released in Kuwait on Thursdays. So yeah, um, that's the second show I got up with. The third show is, however, the Extreme Movie Review. Now we've seen a few episodes from that, ep from that show. Um, the recent one that I've done for Safe House last Friday after the announcement. Um, I've done a couple of them before that episode. And now I'm going to keep doing these thingies whenever I watch a movie, a new movie. I cannot review old movies. I'm just going to go ahead and review the new movies that I'll be watching in cinemas here. And hopefully SceneSkip will not get old movies and release them in bad timings, will make, will, which will make my videos uh, kind of like stupid because they're late and not in time for the actual reviewers who will be on YouTube and there will be lots of reviews once I review the old movie so that will not be worth it so either way it will be reviewing the new 
movies only. So if I watch a new movie to me, it won't be to you. So then only new movies, okay? So the timing, of course, is whenever I watch a new movie. Yeah, so it's up to Sceneskip to bring new movies on time. So either way, let's move on to the um, fifth episode, or excuse me, the fourth one, because we just talked about two shows, the Q8 version and the American version of the In Theaters Now. The fourth one, well, I just talked about it, the extreme movie review. Let's move to the fifth one, yeah. Um, I'm screwing up things on, like, on, on, on the video. But either way, um, this is not an episode, this is just me talking about the future. And hopefully, as everyone wanted me to do so, I will not screw up on any episode. If I do, I will take retakes. How's that? Is that a deal? Yeah, probably. Either way, um, the fifth episode is WWE Reloaded. I've talked about it before and I thought about it as a future episode or a future show, excuse me. And the title fits it. I believe it will not be changed. Now, the WWE Reloaded will not be like the WWE segment you have been watching on the Extreme Show. As I just, like, talk about what happened on, the Raw, on Monday Night Raw. Everyone knows what happened on Raw and SmackDown. No one needs to hear it um, or... Like listen to the replay of what happened. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give my opinions on what happened and my predictions and everything in between. But not gonna talk to you like Orton gave our uh, gave um, Sheamus an RKO in the middle of the ring and stuff like that. No, that stuff does not is not like popular on YouTube. So you're gonna you're gonna talk about what happened on Raw and then what? You're gonna that's it. That's a bit boring, I believe. And that just coming from experience from two years of doing the extreme show, I believe that was boring. And the better thing is to do um, just give the opinions and the predictions and blah blah blah. You got me. Now, um, the sixth show I got is the extreme tour. Now, the extreme tour, ha the extreme tour have been a sub show to the extreme show, but there are no sub shows right now. All of them are main shows because the extreme show is rebranding as. You have known. Why did I say that? But either way, the Extreme Tour, you know it, but now let's just talk about it to make it clearer to others who do not watch any Extreme Tour. Now, it can include unboxings, um, tech reviews or previews, um, and probably unboxes of video games, unboxes of iPads, iPhones in the future. Um, whenever I get something hot and it will happen. That's the timing. So it ha does not have a weekly timing because I'm not going to go ahead and buy everything new that comes out. So it just happens to be a coincidence. If I do not buy one, I'll be just reviewing it or previewing it based on the, inf the information that I've seen from the internet. And if I go to like an expo that are displaying these devices, I'll also be able to talk about it from personal experience with the device. And it can also be about reviewing events or um, malls, as I have done for Mall 360, because there are a few new malls that I will that will be opening up soon in Kuwait. So yeah, that might be the hot topic on the Extreme Tour. And as I said, the timing is at random, just like the Reloaded segment, just like the WWE Reloaded segment, and yeah. Now, the seventh and last, last show that I came up with is the Extreme Pay-Per-View Review or Preview. I did not come up with that. It was um, earlier, like it has been made like for two years with the Extreme Show. And excuse me, it's not seven shows, it's eight shows since the Extreme Pay-Per-View Review is one show and the Preview is another show. Now those are eight shows and you know the Preview and the Review. The Review is reviewing the, the Pay-Per-View of the WWE and the Preview is previewing the WWE pay-per-view and um, the timings you know them but let me put more focus on the preview the previews of the WWE pay-per-view can only be only like airing on either saturdays or, on, or sundays so again it's up to me like the old nation chamber next week i'll probably gonna make it on saturday and if i cannot make it on saturday it's gonna be on sunday and the review is definitely on the same night that it airs, like after it airs, I'll be making the review, putting my camera to the TV and going through the matches, and that's about it. That's all the planning and the shows from the Extreme Show Reborn. I love the Reborn, I did not like steal it from Johnny English Reborn, but it fits the case 
as it is rebranding and, and of course since YouTube is forcing us to go with a new style of YouTube I'm gonna try to get creative with it and get it and get the best out of it and the extreme show reborn the project is launching from right now so everything is changing and happening right now from this mo from this minute and the first show out of all these eight shows that will be happening the first show we'll be talking about or the first show that will be airing is the WWE Reloaded since I'm making one right after this video and you'll be able to watch it in the link below thanks for watching again this is Jack on the ZZP singing right off wishing to see you in the upcoming video and all as usual follow me on Twitter at Jack on the ZZ for the latest updates good night ladies and gentlemen